So I've been looking at a lot of mini PCs on the channel lately, and if you happen to have picked one up or you have one at home and you'd like to add more storage, I kind of wanted to show you how to do that. What's up everybody? This is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I have a mini PC right here along with a NVMe solid state drive that I'm gonna put in here. I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. And this is just a beginner's guide, you know, not like an advanced tech user guide. This is something that, you know, you should be able to do at home. So anyway, I have my mini PC here. And I also have my NVMe. So this was an NVMe that was sent over to me so I could make this video. It's a Van Sunny one terabyte NVMe M.2. And I'll talk about that in a little bit about what you should get based on what you have inside or what the mini PC will accept. So let's go ahead and get into this. So let me go ahead and open up this NVMe. And this is a pretty nice one, actually. It's got speeds up to about 3,400 megabytes per second. Uh, when you're looking at adding more storage to your mini PC, you usually have to have an extra slot, and I'll show you that on the inside here. Your main drive is the one that's running Windows, okay? You'll have an extra drive, then that's your storage. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Typically what you do is you look for the screws, in this particular case, they are under these little sticky things, which I'm not a big fan of because I lose these sticky things. So let me show you this. So you can see there's four screws there. I'm just gonna go ahead and take out these four screws. And in most cases, you don't have to worry about sort of taking these things apart, most cases. Usually it's just okay to pop it open and take a look at the inside, especially if you're new to this. Um, so now that I've taken out those screws, I'm gonna take off this back plate here. Pop it off here. There we go. So this is that back plate we just took off. And now you see in here, um, I'm actually met with another plate, okay? So, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go one step further, take out these other screws here. And at this point you might be saying, you know, oh, geez, you know, I'm taking all these screws out. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's not that hard. And one thing you always want to keep as a note is the screws, okay? These screws here are longer than these screws here. So these are, we're on the outside, so I'm gonna sort of keep them to the side. You can organize them better than I do, but I'm just gonna set them here. So now I should be able to take this out. And it might be a little fiddly to be able to get this out just because there are a couple plastic pieces on the outside here. So this is basically just that metal plate. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside here, okay? So you can see basically you got your RAM sticks here, Windows drive here, which is already an NVMe, and then you have an extra slot right here. And if you look in here, you can see there is one little slot, okay? Sometimes there's one there and there's one here. Now that's for the older type of NVMe, that's a bit slower. So what I'm talking about is that this also has a slot. You can see one here. Like I said, sometimes they'll have one here and one here. So now I know that this is going to work for this mini PC. Now it's very simple. I'm gonna slide this into that slot, matching this up to that little notch that was here that I just showed you. So I'm gonna just gonna pop it in, okay? If you look, there's a little bit of a spring back here, right? And that's because you need to put in a screw. In this particular case, this NVMe came with a little screwdriver and some screws and I think standoffs. If I can ever get this friggin' thing open. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so let me pour this out on the table. So this has a couple of different things here, right? It has a standoff and that would actually screw into the board if I needed it. And then I'll show you that there's already a standoff here. Okay, that is the thing that lines it up with that slot that when I push it down, it ticks into. And then there's also the smaller screws right here, which allow you to screw down the NVMe. So I'm gonna push this down and screw in the screw. And that's it, I'm done. I've now installed the little NVMe drive and I'm good to go. Pretty simple, right? So I'm gonna put this back together real quick, uh, hook it up and we'll do a quick little speed test. Okay, now this thermal pad that's on here is actually for the memory. You can actually see the four little indents. Let me go ahead and rotate that a little bit. Okay, so you need to make sure that's lined up for the memory. Now, I don't have any extra thermal pads for this one right here. Thermal pad transfers that heat into this, which then dissipates it out the back. So what I'm going to do 
stretch this out a little bit. <laughs> it doesn't need to be scientific because honestly, these aren't gonna get that hot. But I'm just gonna put a piece on there and a kind of crappy piece on here just to transfer a little bit of that heat, okay? So I'm gonna line this up, put it back in and reassemble backwards the way we just did this. Alrighty, so now we've got that put back together. It's all hooked up to my PC right here. We're gonna check and see if it's set up correctly. It should show up as a drive letter. If not, we'll have to try to format it. I'll show you quickly where to find that. Then we'll do a quick disc test on it. Then we're done. All right, so here we are in the mini PC. I have it hooked up to the monitor here. And you'll notice we only have a Windows C drive. We installed our new drive, but we only see the C, right? So what we have to do now is look at the disk properties or basically the disk management of Windows, okay? So I'm gonna go down here to the start menu and this is Windows 11 and Windows 10, this will work, and go to disk management, okay? Now what you see here is it says you must initialize a disk before you, a logical disk manager can access it. So basically what it's saying is that uh, NVMe was completely blank, right? A lot of times they'll come blank because they might work for Linux or a RAID or Windows, right? So it's very easy. Just leave this all as it is. You don't have to touch anything. All you have to do is hit OK. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is this is the disk one that we just put in and it currently says it's unallocated. That's fine, that makes a lot of sense, right? So I'm gonna right mouse click on this, new simple volume. Very easy, just follow all the steps. Next, 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 uh, next. If you wanna call it something else, you can call it something here. So I'm gonna call it uh, storage and uh, Next. Now you can change these settings. This uh, EXFAT is usually good for like USB uh, external drives and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna leave it at the NTFS. Don't worry about that. If you don't recognize it, I'm gonna hit next, finish. Alrighty. So there we go. Now we have storage D. You can see it here listed. There's nothing on it. Okay, so now we're gonna test the speed just to see how fast it is. We'll compare it actually between the one that came with the device and the one that we just put in. The easiest way to do that is go to Crystal Disk Mark. And I know this is kind of like a crazy website and it's got a lot of ads, it's overwhelming, but it's a, it's a very common software used across the industry. Um, go to download, scroll down, past all the anime skins and all that kind of stuff until you see the normal standard edition. So we'll go ahead and download this. I'm just gonna install, get the installer. And of course, I'm gonna see a bunch of ads because this is a free software, right? And this is kind of how they sort of fund that software. Okay, so it just automatically started downloading. I'm going to install it and there it is. This is the exact one that we saw on the site and this is a perfectly good software. Like I said, tons of people use it. So once this opens up, you can do a test by selecting the drive that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test on the C drive. You can do all, which will do all these tests right here, but I like to just go ahead and do a little quick test. So let's click this. Now it's gonna take a few minutes. Okay, and now it's done. So this is the C drive that one that came with the mini PC, and we get a 532 megabytes per second, and we get a 448 megabytes per second write, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the new one we installed, and I'm gonna click this button again. All right, so there we go, much faster, right? This is 3,213 megabytes per second, and the write is 3,086 megabytes per second. So this NVMe would be really good if you wanted to play games, uh, because then they'll load a lot faster. So I think this has been a success. So anyway, I hope that helped you. I'm really just trying to help people who are new to this and bought one of these mini PCs and are like, oh, I got the 512 or oh, I got the 256 gigabyte. Now you can always upgrade the main one and add a new one, but, but in general, I would just go ahead and add the new one in, maybe get a one terabyte or a two terabyte because they're fairly inexpensive. Definitely check the Van Sunny uh, drive that I just put into there. Again, thanks for them for sending this over. If this helped you out, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'd love to see you back. But until next time, this is Carl from Technical Goodies, and I'm out.